I'm Nathan from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Dispatch Utility Tote, which I've been testing out for the last three weeks. Head on over to packhacker.com for more information. Link in the description below. Let's dive in. Okay, so we'll kick this off just with how I've been using it really for the past few weeks. So I've taken it to the gym a few times and as a tote bag with the kind of main opening along the top here, it's worked really well. You know, you can easily grab stuff, chuck this in a locker. Um, it's pretty good for that. And also I've taken this to the coffee shop a few times and it works really well with kind of tech stuff. So it's got a laptop compartment and all that stuff inside. Um, use this as a tote or throw it over your shoulder. For those kind of instances and the way I've been using it, I've really enjoyed this bag really. Um, but yeah, we'll kind of get into the finer details now. So starting off with the main material, we've got this 1680D uh, ballistic nylon, which I typically like. However, with this, I'm, I'm not overly, you know, a massive fan of the look. Um, I really like how it looks, but the ballistic nylon for me, um, I'd like it to maybe look a little bit more professional. They do do a multi-cam um, kind of called Dura um, nylon um, at the time of making this video, which I think looks quite good. I I'd like to see them make just like a Cordura nylon in different colors without the kind of multi-cam, but all in all, I think this navy ballistic nylon, more than happy to rock it out and about. Um, they have kind of played around with different um, kind of materials in the past, like a twill and stuff. So um, if there's something that picks your fancy, then go for it. But I think the bag looks pretty good overall, um, especially the design. So as I said, we've got, that's also a water repellent ballistic nylon. And obviously one of the biggest pros with that 1680D ballistic nylon is that it's super durable on the outside, which is always good. And it's got a water repellent, which is really nice as well. Then we've got a little logo down here on the bottom left, a little dispatch logo which is nice. And this also signifies the front of the bag. Um, I, when I first got this bag, couldn't quite work out what side was the front and what side to wear against my back. Um, to be honest, both of them work perfectly fine, but this is the little quick grab pocket here, which actually um, is supposed to sit against you, I believe. And that's nice because it just protects it a little bit, but I've also worn this one on the outside um, just so I've got quicker and easy access to that. Um, but yeah, other materials we've got and we've got duraflex and wujin um, hardware we've got ykk zippers for instance on the top here we've got some nice zipper pulls which are really easy to yank onto i also like the front here the fact that it's a white one um, just a little bit easier to see and grab access to um, overall the carry style we've got let me just grab that it can get a little bit tricky when you've got the shoulder strap on as well, just to use it as a tote, but you've got these tote handles here, which I haven't used a tote a ton of times before, but I've actually enjoyed using this. I, I've enjoyed kind of testing and, and using a tote out and about. And it's got some really nice handles here. You can throw them over your shoulder as well for a different style of carry. And then it's also got this shoulder strap, which I'll just bring around to the front here. Um, now this padded one, um, you have to purchase as an add-on, but it does come with just a normal shoulder strap without the padded thing on. Um, and yeah, it, it's all right. If, in all honesty, not the most comfortable bag to carry over one shoulder, um, especially if it's really full, like it, it, even with this padded shoulder strap, which, which isn't that densely padded um, or that thick padding, it, it can get a little bit tired. So when I went, Rebecca wore this a little bit, she found it a little bit more uncomfortable. I'm slightly bigger, so I was able to kind of pull it off a little bit more. But um, yeah, overall not the most crazy, kind of comfiest carry. But as I said, you can also use it as a tote. And when you're just carrying this thing to the gym or to the coffee shop, you're not really going to be taking it for long walks. So the carry isn't, you know, the utmost concern. Then we're going to dive into what's going on inside of the bag. So I'll start off just with that front zippered pocket which is the only exterior pocket on this bag and it's really great really um without it you'd be missed but otherwise it's just got your little quick grab stuff in there so i've just got a mask which i picked up from ikea which is actually really good really enjoyed using this one quite good and also just my wallet there as well which i'll throw to the side and i'll zip the back up there there's a ton of room in here for plenty of stuff so i've had my keys in here as well 
all that. Um, you know, it's pretty much like a really good size. It's not massive, but it's good for all of your quick grab essentials, and I like that. Um, and then other than that, it's the main compartment, basically. So when it comes to size, um, Dispatch Ace said it's a 17 litre bag, but I think it feels a little bit bigger than that, especially when you undo these buckles at the side here. So as you can see, you can undo that. It's nice to be able to cinch it down and kind of compress it down, which is definitely a big plus. Um, I've had that used most of the time, but you can expand it even further. Um, which is great, but as I said, most of the time I've had it cinched down. I think it gives a cleaner look. But we'll get into and just quickly, if I if I haven't already said this shoulder strap, you can just take off completely. It's got these kind of gatekeeper buckles, Duraflex gatekeeper here. Is it Duraflex? Um, I think this is Wujin actually. These buckles here, um, but there is Duraflex on elsewhere of the buckles. Um, and then yeah, you can just take it off and just use it as a tote completely. I've been rocking it as both because I like to have the flexibility and carry, but if you just want to use it as a tote, you can, and just take the strap off. Then we'll finally get inside of the main compartment here. So it's got this nice, you know, one of these big pluses with a tote is you can unzip the whole thing and you've got a ton of room inside and just it's easy to grab stuff basically. So first and foremost, I've just got a big medium sized uh, Eagle Creek packing cube in there that I'll throw away. And obviously that just shows if you want to take this thing out you know for a weekend trip or something you can there's plenty of room inside basically i have been using it kind of without that big packing cube in but i just wanted to show that there is a, enough room in here for you know more than just a, a little day pack and i've just got a little jumper there the will and prince pack hacker collab one and then as you can see here you should be able to see a good amount of um, stuff inside i've got a water bottle the water bottle pocket on this is inside so make sure you've got a really good water bottle that's one from thermos there um, obviously that isn't going to leak um, and it's just this pocket here. I don't mind having it inside. I'm, I'm pretty confident in the water bottles we've tested here at Pack Hacker, the ones that aren't going to break and stuff. So it's got that pocket inside there. The mesh is quite rigid, um, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it does, does mean it's always there and easy to find. You've also got this little buckle or little kind of a D ring here on the side for you to attach stuff onto. And then uh, first and foremost, they have designed this, you know, as a kind of tech techie tote. Um, so I'll take the, this is just a laptop sleeve. I've got my laptop out at the moment, but it'll fit a 15 inch laptop with ease. It won't fit a bulky case for a 15 inch laptop, um, but a slimline case you can just about get away with. And there's kind, there is a false bottom on this, um, a good amount, but if your, if your laptop is heavy and it kind of presses against the bottom, it's still gonna kind of hit. But there, there, there has been like, you know, it's like elevated, but it does kind of hit the bottom. It's not 100% elevated, even though it's apart from the pack. Um, but there's there's loads of padding at the bottom here, really. So kind of laptop drop shouldn't be too much of a concern. And they have definitely integrated that in there, which is nice. Um, and then, yeah, the front here, uh, you just got this buckle, which encloses both. I, I haven't always buckled it up, if I'm honest, um, but it's there. Um, and then in the front, you've got a kind of tablet space or where I've put my... Um, Apple keyboard there in the front. So I'll zip this back up. Then else side, we've got this other, we kind of got these two long mesh pockets here. So I'll unzip the first one. And this is good because it can fit all that tech stuff you'd otherwise have in a pouch. So I haven't actually used a pouch. Now it will fit the 15 inch, it's like an 87 watt uh, MacBook charger. However, not with my UK plugs, I've had to take that off. Um, but US plug, it'll fit just fine. Drop that down there. I'll do that up and you see that stretches along the entire side of the pack and it is like this really kind of dense, thick um, mesh as well, which is nice. Um, as opposed to being flimsy, it's, it's definitely not going to break. Um, and then at the bottom here, I've just got some other bits. So I've got some go tubs, little tombin, ghost whale pouch, and a little uh, power add power bank there as well. And then I'll zip that back up. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it for inside. It, it you know, Pretty versatile in how you want to use this bag. I've definitely enjoyed using it, um, you know, for kind of tech, uh, going to the coffee shop, to the gym, all that good stuff. Um, and I'll just zip this back up there. And it works kind of, you know, if it's super padded out, if it's not padded, if you've just got like a little a couple of tech things and a laptop in it, it also works well for that. Um, and yeah, that's the Dispatch Utility Tote. Um, definitely enjoyed using it. and. You know, there you have it. Check out packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options that help support the channel at no additional cost to you. 
link in the description below. We will see you in the next video.